Hello and welcome. You know, in the interest of uh, putting up some content, because I don't always have a lot of content for this page, I'm going to uh, do a quick catalog ranking. And the band, of course, that I will start out with is my favorite band in the world. They're called Utopia, also known as Todd Rundgren's Utopia. And for our purposes today, we're not going to go through the whole catalog. I'll give you a little bit of history, but I got this nice little box set from my brother-in-law with all the Bearsville era CDs. Now, Todd Rundgren, he signed with the Bearsville record label, which was run by Albert Grossman. And Albert's uh, claim to fame was he was Bob Dylan's manager. And then he started this fantastic record label with all these others that were on us. I think of like Foghat was on there, for example. I don't remember a lot of the other ones. <laughs> but anyhow. So when Todd Rundgren was a solo artist, he recorded uh, under the Todd Rundgren moniker. His first two albums were under Runt. Uh, then, and he had, he'd just come from the Naz. And then he formed this band called Todd Rundgren's Utopia. And at one point he dropped the Todd Rundgren's part of it. And it was a four-piece Utopia, which was the classic lineup, I'll say. Todd Rundgren, Chasm Sultan on bass, Roger Powell on keyboards, and Willie Wilcox on the drums. Sometimes Willie was called John Wilcox. I don't know. Anyhow, let's go through this Bearsville box set, and I'm going to rank them from bottom to top. So let's start on the very bottom. Oh, most Utopia fans will agree with this one. Deface the Music. Now, Deface the Music, very interesting album. A couple of uh, fun songs on here. I Just Want to Touch You, uh, Hoi Polloi. My favorite song on here is a Willie Wilcox song called Always Late. But really what this is was it was just a Beatles parody. And very unfortunate timing. Utopia was coming off their most successful album commercially. And that was Adventures in Utopia, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. And this this kind of hurt some of the momentum. And, and not to mention the fact that they came out with a Beatles parody the same year, around the same time, that John Lennon was murdered. So a lot of people weren't necessarily in the mood for it. But, you know. There's, this is an album. I don't know that it's real divisive amongst Utopia fans in terms of whether it's their, I don't want to say worst, but of the ones we're looking at today, it certainly is. But yeah, to face the music. Oh, what is coming up next? I'm doing this all on the fly. This is just pure, you know, wow. Let's see. This did, you know, this is, this is really hard. So we're going to go, uh, this one right here, okay? Now, uh, Todd Rundgren's Another Live. It had some original material on it, and uh, the album's recorded live. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Did this, <clears throat> this is still a really good album, and it's just the fact that there's you got to rank it somewhere. And uh, I enjoy this. I think the only marks that I might hit against it is that the sound quality is not perfect. But, man, the performances are absolutely fantastic song another life uh the wheel is on here there's a ver live version probably the first live version of just what victory which became a staple of utopia live songs <laughs> live concerts for many years so what do we got next oh my i such it so hard Ugh. see this one pains me because it really like almost all my favorite utopia songs are on this one it, it, it really it just has some fantastic moments. The, the title cut, Chasm Sultan's vocals on it, are incredible. Many concert staples on here, you know, Liz Estrada, One World. I mean, One World is a, is a big anthem. And uh, they do a cover of the song For the Love of Money, which is just absolutely fantastic. But, yeah, that, that's where we're putting it. It's okay. It's really, a, really a good album. So what's next? Oh, it's getting harder. I'm not going to lie. It is definitely getting harder. Okay. Ugh. Where are we going to go with this one? Okay. Where are we going to go? Oh, yeah. Hard. This is the this is the original line of Todd Rundgren's Utopia. Just prog beauty. I mean, long form uh, Utopia themes out here. The the, the song uh, Freedom, Fri Freedom Fighters, which is also on another live, I think. Another live. But anyhow, I love this album. Great cover art. You know, that old style Todd Rundgren's Utopia logo. 
if you like the progressive rock, you're going to love this one. So what's next? Oh boy, I'm down to three. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, this one kind of pains me to do it, but we're going this route. Adventures in Utopia. Most popular album commercially. Biggest hit single on it, Set Me Free. Road to Utopia, Second Nature. So much ear candy on here. The only, the only thing I might say about it is I think pretty much every song, with with the possible exception of the last New Wave Riders, just sounded much better live than it did in the studio version. Now the song Second Nature, I don't know if they ever performed that one live or not. I've read varying details as to whether they have or not. Great album. We're down to two. Numero dos. The first one. Ra, 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 ra. Singing in the glass guitar, each member gets their opportunity to to play a solo. Just great stuff. The you know communion with the sun, as I mentioned, singing. Uh, Chasm Sultan is a great one. Eternal love on here. Jealousy. Every band member just has a has an opportunity to really shine on this particular record. I love it. Kind of a nice bridge between the sort of proggy Todd Rundgren's Utopia and then what was going to become the four-piece lineup, which was pretty darn amazing. My favorite of all of these is this one. Oops. Oops. There's no oops. Oops, wrong planet. Just an incredible album. I, 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 I don't know. Love it. Might I rank the other three that we don't mention that are the non bearsville albums, the Utopia self-titled, the... Oblivion, POV, you'll never know because we're not doing that. <laughs> but of this, the Bearsville era, this album, there's not a bad millisecond on it. It is just absolutely wonderful. So that's what I got. We're ranking some Utopia. Hope you enjoy it. Just a little quick thing, just having a little bit of fun. If you enjoy these, please put it in the comments. Go look at some of the other interviews I've done. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Ranking the records.